in my moat list. Only artists and handcrafted dreadgasms on this channel. Also no cat bags. Your only cat bag option is cat bag. <laughs> You can touch them too. Shit, I forgot to change my I monitor again. Discount, handsome. I'm gonna have to get used you to that every day. time I do a run now. Y yeah. Okay, now it's switched over. Yep, artisan handcrafted dragasms. Here, thank you. Forged by professionals. My you have good taste. Yeah. Thanks. That was a good buy. Yes, you can touch them too. Maps. Yeah, it's gluten free dorgasms. Good. Certified gluten free, all natural, free range, handcrafted artisan dreadgasms, cruelty free dreadgasms as well. Cruelty free, gluten free. Fair trade, yeah. <laughs> there. Alright, second child take. Yep. Show quality dreadgasms. Blue ribbon. Mint new in box. Uh Yeah, real gasm is definitely not organic. It is assembly line. Ex huh? Not artisan handcrafted. So that was probably the best luck I could get there with the NPCs. I got two fast NPCs on the left side. So that probably means I'm going to fail Doolin skip or something. If the guy for the second uh, spooky ghost glitch is on the right side, then the r the urn will be confirmed. Because that never happens, that I have uh, good spawns for the first spooky ghost and then good for the second one. The <laughs> Walmart knockoff. No, it's probably... There's a tier below that. There's the um the come over guest house is just up ahead. Yeah, the, uh, the swap meat stall. This place out. Knock off. The knockoff of the knockoff. <laughs> Which I thought was amazing. So I didn't know about this, but I was reading an article about earbuds this morning. And apparently some factories in China uh, have their shifts that um, that produce like electronics and earbuds and all the stuff like that and occasionally what they'll do is they'll add in an extra shift that's off the books for the item that they're preparing um, and they don't actually deliver it to the manufacturers they instead just sell it as bootleg stuff <laughs> which is amazing it's like the same thing except they they don't have the labeling on it 
I thought that was incredible that they just used the same tooling for for the the actual products and then have another shift of workers right after that off the books that then just sells the the knockoff version. <laughs> oh god, that's amazing. I'll look for the South Korean quarter. No, we got bad RNG here. Ex fuck, 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 fuck. Alright. Ex what? Alright, second try. Alright, I lost time here. Whoa, continuing to lose time. God, okay, so I think... From now on, for that, I'm just not even going to bother trying to turn to the left and talking to Tank Top Guy. I'll just always talk to the person on the right. Otherwise, that just ends in tears. <sighs> yeah, for some stuffs, the, the knockoffs are actually the same product in some cases. I lost time here, but I can, I can deal with this. Not a huge deal. 5.2 seconds. Now watch me be plus 0 0.01 seconds like Chop was earlier. Clearly, I need to reset. No, but it was, a, it was an article, I think, on either Ars Technica or Wired about some uh, some earbud headphones that are like $5 that sound just as good as, like, five-figure professional in-ear model stuff. And I'm in the market for some cheap earbuds at some point here. I figured I would get what they were recommending. Give it a try. <laughs> what do you want? Excuse me. Are you? Oh. Do you know? Master. Do you know? I don't. So. I'm. Huh. You. Sh well, sure, they're subjective, but. You're a man. I under. Hey. Thank you very. Man. Bad headphones are bad headphones. <laughs> Good headphones is very subjective, but it is very easy to tell when you got some bad headphones. Because really all I would use them for is, um, I use a white noise machine when I sleep. And so I'm like rolling around <laughs> all these earbuds all the time. And the cords are getting worn out, so I just need to get a whole bunch of cheap, cheap but still not horrible earbuds. So I figured I'd get get some of those. Yeah, the the ones that support like only dogs can hear <laughs> this signal, then it's a bit ridiculous getting something like that. But that's why I generally when I buy headphone stuff. Um, I go for comfort rather than, hey, I need to be able to hear this ultra high pitch sound, or I need my head shaken off a of bass. So years and years ago, I bought some Grotto SR10s or something, which people were raving about in reviews, going, "Oh man, these things sound so great," but they're they're the kind of headphones that sit on top of your ears and press in on them. So I couldn't wear them for more than like five minutes at a time. <laughs> uh, so it's stuff like that Your where first time here, right? You got to know what works. Yes. Hey, Gator. Take this. It's our flyer. You can check my buying rates on it. Are you going to sell something? That. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I need to 
I think next set of headphones, actual headphones that I got will be Sennheisers. That's pretty much the only brand I haven't gone with lately. Yeah, I can't deal with the grottos. Scarlet Hills is ahead. Can't have my ears being pushed into my head for hours at a time. Maps. Yeah, Audio Technica is pretty Scarlet good. Hills. Though with these, It'll again, I do not recommend getting the headset that I have. It's pretty comfortable, but it feels like it, it's a knockoff. For whatever reason, the more expensive headset version feels like it's made out of Fisher-Price plastic. When the cheaper non-headset models actually feel like a premium headset or headphones. Oh, for in-ears, um, what you might want to try out, uh, what I actually use, because I use them when I'm sleeping, I have these memory foam uh, tips that I put on the, uh, the in-ear things, and you can't tell that they're, they're in your ear at all. Like, some people say they use silicone tips for that, and that they can't feel them at all. I can definitely feel them. I switched over to these memory foam things. I don't have any on my desk here. Um, but you actually cannot tell that they're in your ear. They're amazing. Um, let's see. These are Comply is the company that makes them. Uh, Comply in your tip things. They got sizes for pretty much any uh, any model of um, of stuff, and they are incredible. Yeah, the memory foam ones are so good. They last, let's say, about a month and a half to two months before. You really have to replace them, <laughs> but they last long enough that it's not a huge outlay to uh, if you keep getting more of them. By the way, if you haven't seen the run yesterday, uh, the route has changed for this part of the game, which is why we're missing splits down there. Ex what? Do you know you? What kind? He and. Real. Zanyu Barber's shop. Headphone <laughs> tasting. This must be Zanyu shop. Yep. You go to headfi.org and it's all about auditioning headphones. The Wudu yeah. are important to those who study the martial arts. Those without the Wudu often strayed from the path and were hated by others. Those people were often killed with but yeah, the, guards. These things, there's like... For example... Well, they have all kinds teeth. of different, like, sizes. Or and, uh, the these are awesome. Like, I've slept so much better after using these with the no white noise machine. Happens. The only problem is it tends to break, uh... break the earbuds that I use. <laughs> <laughs> so young, but you've got guts. Yeah, comply is great. The razor's motion was sharp. I just happened to get I some when I bought like some this. other cheap earbuds. They came with uh, a Be set of comply tips, and and stay calm. It was worth it. Right decision. Worth it. That is one of the voodoo. Don. Yep. Why noise for sleeping? <laughs> yeah. Don. I probably sleep even better if I just listen to. Stay calm in order like to the duck correctly. racing music. If you train hard, you'll be a master of martial arts. But there's been construction going on near me for the past, oh, four years. So, I need the uh, white noise or something. Also, you cannot sleep at all. Alright, so we're going to the tree next. I just need to Take a peek at my notes one last time. Alright, barber, tree, school, pharmacy, apartments. Yeah, uh, I actually have a similar problem with uh, the voice command thing. Um, 
I figured out that the the problem wasn't with my jack. It was with the um, there's an inline remote on my headphones that even if I didn't pr didn't touch it at all, it would it would act like it was being pressed in, and it would short the um, whatever line on the the headphones that set off the voice command thing. So I switched. I have another pair that that doesn't have a microphone on it or a remote, and it doesn't do that anymore. So. I guess I can't buy uh, buy earbuds with the, the little inline remote anymore. <laughs> if it's just gonna do that. Oh, it's just headphones. <laughs> you never know. There might be secret secret microphone on your headphones. The truth is out there. I gotta remember that I'm splitting here now. Oh, it's a quarter inch jack? What? How's this? What kind of phone has a quarter inch jack on it? <laughs> yeah, Duke, um, we're going to probably. Finish Duke or get as far as we can in it because there are game shark codes for it. Uh, we're gonna throw on some infinite ammo and we're gonna blaze our way through Duke Nukem 3D. You look too stiff. Ease your shoulders. Yeah, it's probably uh, eighth inch. Yeah. There's eighth inch and then like whatever the the really ridiculously small jack is on there. And it's probably not XLR, because man. Why would you put XLR on a phone? Yes, this is good. You'd probably get some pretty good audio quality though. I think you need two two XLRs for for stereo headphones. Centralize all your body's strength. I understand. Yes, this is good. Yeah, frame rate's a little choppy on Duke. <laughs> Just a little bit. I need to control my timing. It's got some frame rate issues. That's looking much better. I think I'm getting it. But we've already picked the game that's after Duke, by the way. It's Ape Escape. Um, so the current vote is for the one after Ape Escape. In case you were wondering. Looking good. Yeah, this is it. I've been getting pretty okay trees here. Alright, so we don't talk to Janmin here. So at that whole tree... God, it's about three minutes to do the tree. <sighs> you try to do... jeez. I think when I first played Duke, and like Doom for that matter, um, I played it keyboard only. Like, I didn't start using um, keyboard and mouse until like Quake 2, I think. Are you the. Yeah. Please. There is. Your. But. Why? I. What do. There is. A street. He. It is. A map.
No, I, I, even like my earliest computer, um, always had a mouse, but for whatever reason, I figured that the the mouse controls are horrible in early games, so I never used it. So I think I remember trying out like Bladestone and Wolfenstein with a mouse and thinking that it was horrible. <laughs> like horrible to control. Then I just got stuck with uh, not using the mouse. Hey, Zero. Oh my god, I almost... <laughs> Alright, this is probably the only minigame where me playing on a less laggy setup is actually a problem. Because I was almost way too early on that one. <sighs> I know that feel about being bad at StarCraft. Oh, you bought uh, Grandstream Denki? Nice. Yeah, I've actually been spelling the Japanese name wrong. It's actually Grandstream Denki. It's not Dengeki. I don't know why I called it Dengeki. It's, it's Denki, I guess. Hey, DZ. Yeah, the... I think I did okay in StarCraft when you could build bases, but it was the missions where you only had like a group of set units that uh, that you could go through missions with. Those are the ones that I was just failed over and over again, and I think I gave up at some point with StarCraft. Alright, so what's after this again? Pharmacy. Alright, so I gotta talk to this guy again and go to the pharmacy. Oh, nice. Found out of the store. I forget how much I paid for mine. I think mine was super cheap. I think it was like $10 shipped from Japan. I'll have to look up and see how much it was, but I think I got my, my copy of Japanese Grand Stream for super cheap. Like, new inbox, it had the sticker and everything. Three eighty six, jeez. Yeah, I think my first, like, my own computer was a four eighty six DX. A DX two. Whatever the, the sixty six megahertz one was. Eight, yeah, that's that's about right. Did you also get the, the awesome stickers? <laughs> Yeah, I got a I got a huge pile of PlayStation games over here. This is Sunny Capital Pharmacy. Right. Talk to this oh. guy. This guy's blazing it the whole time. <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> All right. This is this is the one part of the route that I like. Do you have it? I've already. I. Do you have? Oh, this guy just blazing it the whole time. But where? All right. Hopefully, I don't get stuck on little kid this time. I understand. Alright, we're gonna go this way and not get stuck. Alright, excellent. That went much better that time. The rock rock joints for everybody. Most of the games fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> A truck called the Internet. What? 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 How is this? All right, this still works. This still works. Damn, this is super early. No, there are there are better places than the paradise to get that stuff. So you'd be incorrect. Yeah, 
is actually a very fast and efficient way to find such trucks on the internet. Tandy 1000s, why would you get a Tandy? <laughs> yep, I done goofed. Alright, so the last time I did, the last two runs I did, which is yesterday, um, please no shed me three arena. Uh, I was minus 47.9 and minus 47.8. So I have a feeling the new, the new route, um, has like a time limit to it. Though I'm pretty sure it, I just had identical trees yesterday and that was the reason for, um, that time being almost identical. So we'll see. Yep, I'm looking at the timer ticking down. This is going to be about 47 again. All right. So it appears there there's like a hard a hard ceiling to the beginning of the game now. Okay, so I lost even more time. Maybe it was 37. Hmm. Well, whatever. Hey, Info. Streaming early. I started uh, 20 minutes earlier than I usually do. Make it Nancy Reagan. Very disappointed. Sure, I'll tell you about the route change in a second. So let me get through here. Okay, so the route change is um, after we make our way up to the temple, and then we're told, hey, you need to gather Kung Fu. Um, that's where the change happens. Uh, we do things in a different order that saves uh, 40 seconds. Also, get your service ready. So instead of going to Kung Fu School, Break Rock, Kung Fu School, Am I the only one cleaning um, Tree, uh, uh, 
uh, barber, it's tailor, um, and then what? apartments. You can't be here during this. Now instead, we go to barbershop, tree, see Master Mo. Um, huh? kung fu mall, kung fu pray. Come back pharmacy, later. and then um, I need to ask some apartments. Well, and it saves a. Uh, first. Hold on. Service. service. Hey, sexual, yes. got it. Congratulations. Cleaning away the soot here. Um, it saves. Uh, time mostly due to avoiding load zones. No, long faces later. We actually don't see him. Black, well, no, we see him for about five seconds. Um. This is. At the beginning of the next split. Act without hesitation to do the right thing. That is Mr. Longface. We hardly ever see him in the run now, though. Dragasm. Wong is the uh, the kid who steals your backpack at the beginning of the game. He's uh, the short kid with the uh, the green green clothes. You also see him for about two seconds of the run now. Yeah, there is no dreadgasm, dreadgasm in this chat. No counterfeit dreadgasm. Dread gasms here. Yeah, Wong also picks a lock on the door. But we don't see that one either. <laughs> Only artisan handcrafted, cruelty free, free range, gluten free, free Wi Fi, uh, non profit, GMO free uh, emoticons here. Yeah, that's uh, that was a, uh, a route change, and then there's another route change coming up um, in like four minutes here. No, six minutes. Um, where we don't go to the Kung Fu store anymore. We instead talk to the woman at the bottom of the stairs, and she will advance the plot. So that saves going into um, two load zones. Is there two or four load zones? No, my emotes aren't yeah, 4K ready no, because uh, when I made them, I didn't s like save the PSD file of the originals, yeah, so I'd have really, to actually remake all of my emotes in order to make them high DPI. So, yes, I have other really, things I need to do before I do that. The emotes are fine as is. Plus, they'll lose their charm if they're not blurry. Yeah. The original artist intended them to be blurry. I'd better. Well, this lucky part. There. Excuse me, is this your first time here? Yes. Please have this then. It is our flyer. The buying rates are listed on it. And what will you be selling? Oh. Yes. I is. Oh. Yes. I is. Please. Thank you. Is it <laughs> for color? Yeah, no. that's um. That's primarily the reason why I couldn't do um, Dreadgasm in uh, Daggerfall. Is because Daggerfall uses index color, and I even made a color palette that is identical to what um, Daggerfall uses, and the game still wouldn't wouldn't accept it. We still had a very weird-looking Dreadgasm. 
weirder than usual. I don't know. It also shifted the image to the left a whole bunch for some reason. So I'm not sure why why it wouldn't work. I've seen people use custom faces in Daggerfall before. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong that others aren't. A flight sim. The only flight sim you ever need for old old games is Corncob 3D. Vodka tastes like soap. That's uh sure. Are you sure you weren't just drinking soap? What are today's Yeti shirts? Oh man. Shit, I just ordered some Yeti shirts today, and the new designs for tomorrow are really good. What the fuck, Yeti? I got time, I can put the pull in here. There you go. By the way, my bot auto posts the games every 25 or 30 minutes, I think. So. Rather than you guys ask me every four minutes what the poll is, just stick around for a little bit and the poll will present itself at some point. Bring the next pile. By the way, I added a uh, a time spent on current game now. So now it should hopefully lessen the amount of times that have you started the latest game yet? Questions. That's the way to go. <laughs> We're getting there. One of these days, I'll have a perfect system. <sighs> What's the Captain doing playing Doom? Was it sick? I actually, I caught GSL yesterday and I was a little disappointed That's with the matches. The What's the matter with you? Yeah, I really like that, that controller. Uh, design. Especially because the best controller of all time is the one on the bottom of that design. Implying that it is the final stage of controller evolution. Which I can agree with. I can agree with that. Yes, it is quite a bit faster to fumble all the QTs. Yeah, I saw Doom playing, or Dime playing Brutal Doom earlier. I figured that would be the case, anyone. Alright, so this is the other route change. Well, Talk to her. Do you know a he do you know a he Instead of going to Kung Fu Man. It's a okay. Yeah, the base trade is pretty good. But other than that, it was a little underwhelming. That's probably because I don't like watching PvPs. So that probably is why I didn't like uh, yesterday so much. Um, yeah, Spat has just been trying out things as he does his runs. And he found that, um, that time save there. I got it.
Good. Two more times. I did it. If I can catch just one more. Good. As long as the next map glitch goes well, um, this will be an excellent segment here. So yeah, possible time save on PB is 1 minute 9 seconds. I don't think I'll make up that much time, but it'll be pretty close. Assuming the last map glitch goes well. How did I lose a minute on my PB? Oh wait, my PB doesn't have. That's okay. Never mind. I was just thinking my PB doesn't have Excuse that. Uh, Do you know that new time this save? This is a Chawan sign. Chawan. Yes. Could you? I. Kuisha. You. I understand. Excellent. Usually yellow shirt guys in the way there. These are the Yanten apartments. I wonder if Guishan is here. The giantest black vagina. Yeah, that is kind of what it looks like. King's Quest 6 is pretty lewd. Start moving the left cup. That's actually the now gates to hell. To from uh, King's Good. Quest now 6. Take the second cup from the right. Yes, move it to the bottom. Probably the best scene in the game, actually. It's quite late now. I should get some rest at the Da Yuen apartments. Alright, just need this to go well here. And then we'll have a, a stew going. Come on, map glitch. Nope. I knew right away that wasn't going to work. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess that's one of the things that you can only really know, <laughs> unless you play this game a whole lot, is when a map glitch definitely isn't going to work. I knew right away there when I heard the, the additional footstep that um, the map glitch wasn't going to happen. And now I'm stuck on a planter, it looks like. And I gotta go this way. Yep, I was stuck on a planter. Oh, get in there. Alright, so that could have been... <laughs> that could have been better. Let's say I lost 8 to 10 seconds there. Shall we? But that was still pretty good.
still pretty good. Clear some room for my cat here. Puzzle game. No, this is more of like a adventure game. I wouldn't call it an RPG. Uh, it's primarily an adventure-ish game with some combat, hmm. some puzzles. Looks like I can make the sign here. Okay, I'll start. It's one of those bizarre games that you can't just categorize as one thing. Shenmue is Shenmue. But for a broad category, I would say mostly adventure. I'll wait till eight o'clock. So we're about to do a combat sequence here. So there is actual like fighting, uh, virtual fighter style fighting in it. There's some QTE sequences with action. Uh, there's arcade games. There's duck racing. There's a lot of a lot of things in Shenmue. Oh no. Okay. All right. That works. All right. That could have gone real bad. Instead, it just went a little bad. Yeah, forklift, forklift racing was in Shenmue 1. Shenmue 2 only has duck racing, but I think that's a fair trade-off. Alright, so here's a QT. If you love QTs in modern games, this is pretty much what started the trend. No, there's no Kappa. There's actual duck racing in this. Damn. No Kappa needed. Don't you mess with us, you punk! Die! Take this! It's actually like, it's less than a second slower to get hit by the watermelon, but swag. That's why I tank that watermelon. If you actually want to have an optimized run of this, you would not get hit by the watermelon. Also look at the hands here. Alright, I have one more clip to do and then the run's out of my hands. Yay! The best part of the Shenmue 2 run. Oh, mobile. Well, um, Twitch actually changed something on their back end uh, yesterday or the day before for how it handles chat. And I think. Hold on. Ranker Face Z on mobile might actually be a thing um, relatively soon.
because they um, they changed something on the back end to let them let chat clients be able to access something called WebSockets instead of having to go through Java or IRC. But I think if you're on mobile Firefox and you have FFZ installed on your mobile Firefox and then go into a Twitch chat, you will actually get Francophase Z emotes on mobile. Which is great. The future is now. I haven't timed it out exactly how much time, what the time difference is between watermelon and not watermelon, but I kind of don't want to know, because if it happens to be like, oh, it's two seconds faster, then I would kind of have to do that. Uh, considering the lengths I go to to save about that much time in the tricks. I can't remove the watermelon, though. <sighs> yeah, I'm like that too. I got about... how many? Four computers usually around me, but I spend a lot of time just on mobile. Also, shit, I walked right past a um, lady on the street. So we're doing old strats again. We're talking to sailors. Whoops. I keep forgetting that there's a new strat here as well, because I hardly ever make it this far. But... There is a like five to six second time save over there. Excuse me. Yeah. I'd like to that I see. Are there That's there also relatively new. Thank you. I just keep forgetting about it. <laughs> Whoops. Beverly Hills Wharf. Ren is here. Who are you? This is no place for strangers. The one get thing that you can't do, you or you can do actually regarding FFZ and mobile and all that is you can use a program called Splashtop to access your computer from your phone. Excuse me. And then yeah. you can have the full flavor everything. All right. Thank you. As I do that as well. I just have uh, have a few streams open with Chatty open on my Mac and then have that open in uh, Splashtop to my phone. Here we go. We need to roll an 11 or higher here. I have two Macs, actually. I have a, an iMac that I use for my chat computer. 20, an old 27-inch iMac. Uh, and then the bot is actually... PrayBot Prime is currently running off of an old MacBook. 13-inch uh, MacBook. That's running Ubuntu. Without the battery, because the battery is currently swelled up to like twice its size and will probably explode if I plug it in again to anything. Hey, Subi. All right, here we go. A one-on-one -on -one game. 
make some money with big or small. Hey, boy, how about a game? I'll play. That's the spirit. How much are you betting? Now place your bet. It's here. Go for it. Thank you, Striker. And we got a hot Five. one. Five. We got to run. Six. It's big. Good for you. It's big. Do you want to try again? You can't just right. with your winnings. Maybe next time. Let's Here run through the tape on this one, just so I can have some splits. Have you? If you from around. Around. All I want are splits for Christmas. I don't think I actually care if this is world record or not. I just want there to not be blank splits for the first for splits two and three. Number eight warehouse. It's here. I'll wait till seven o'clock. Uh, cause the route changed, Chops. So it wouldn't help me. Maybe wildly inaccurate. Yep, the elbow. The elbow is by far the best move in the game because it does a ton of damage and there is a short cooldown on it. So if you just spam like punch, you can see he has to finish doing that, like bringing his palm down. But with the elbow, um, hold on. With the elbow, you could just do that and then he could do another move immediately or dodge if you need to. And same for like throws, there's a long cooldown on it. And kicks, there's also a long cooldown. So right there, I couldn't do a move there for a bit. So, for um, for efficiency, the elbow is by far the best. And it's even better in Shenmue One because you can um, you can map the elbow attack to. Uh, uh, the left or right trigger during fights, and all you have to do in the fights is just pull the trigger. <laughs> over and over again. It is quite easy. Too bad the fighting in Shenmue 1 is so clunky. It's so much slower than it is in 2. Yeah, you need a special shampoo to uh, lessen the effects of Rock Joint. It will never really go away. You also have to disclose it if um, you're ever going to donate blood. I got rock joint once back in the 70s and now I can't give blood. Alright, hopefully I didn't screw this up. I might have though. Alright, that's still fine. <sighs> Doing this skip is actually pretty nerve-wracking. It might not look like it, but any small mistake here in maneuvering the map, you'll get stuck somewhere, and if you get stuck in the wrong place, you'll get into a fight. And you do not want to get into a fight in here, as you will lose all of your time if you even get into one fight.
Shenmue 1 takes so much longer because um, after the two hour mark in Shenmue 1, you're forced to work at the docks and there's no way to skip any of it. Um, you have to work for five days and each day takes minimum 45 real time minutes. So that's why Shenmue 1 is so much longer. The biggest skip in Shenmue 1 is being able to skip most of Disc 1. So that cuts two hours off the run-ish. But the rest of the game, there's not much you can do. A donation? On one condition, I want to know where Young Da Zoo is. So the upside to the whole having to work for 45 minutes is that um, you don't actually have to work. You can, for a lot of them, you can just put down the controller and like go get food or something if you want to. God's be with you. I think the longest stretch in Shenmue 1 of you not having to do anything at all is like 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. Where you could just leave it unattended and do something else for like 20 minutes. So that's convenient. Yeah, that worked. You nailed it. First try. Congratulations. That is, on average, one to two less tries than a lot of people take to vote. Hey, Towster. I didn't, um, I didn't even upload Xena because there was a, uh, um, an upload error when I uploaded it from my encoder and I didn't bother trying to re-upload it because it has the Xena theme song in it and I have a feeling I um, that would have to be taken down anyways so I didn't bother so yeah if you're if you're looking for any missing PS explosion stuff from YouTube just check my twitch highlights because all of those are still up there Um, I do speedrun another game. I do things. Where's I do Ray? something called. Uh, I can't tell you. Forgive uh, me, please. Uh, a while ago, Simon. Shenmue Showdown, where Are I do sure? I speedrun both one and yes. two at the same time. Oh, thank you, Ninja. Yep, you are very cool now. That is a secret handshake into the cool club. Is posting a dreadgasm in my chat. <laughs> yeah, anything with an X. That seems legit. Hey, medic. Alright. So we're getting to the point where I kind of need to... Be good at video game. We're almost there. BMX triple X. Yeah, I'm thinking of uh, later this year. I'm gonna figure out where I'm going to uh, where I'm gonna move to. It's probably gonna be in the Pacific Northwest. I haven't decided completely on the Portland area yet, but it's high on my my short list. BMX triple X. Yep, that was a video game. Yeah, I've been to the area before and I really liked it. But I think around um, after SDDQ is when I'm going to start the. Pain. The location hunting Wait. in earnest. All right, this one is down, I think. Yep. Take this. Down. It's not funny. A and then left. Take this. And then right, left, right.
Oops. Yeah, the uh, the cost of living in Southern California is getting kind of ridiculous, and I'd like to move somewhere that's a bit cooler. Yeah, anywhere that's not Florida. Great view. <laughs> well, time to say goodbye. Huh. Yeah, the Seattle area is also on the short list. Though I'd probably be moving to a smaller-ish town. Not, uh, I've done a whole lot of urban living throughout, uh, throughout my life. Yeah, I'm in San Diego as well. And I like the... Not like super small town, but I want the good middle ground between super small town and dense urban. As I've, I've done the whole, uh, whole lived in urban Los Angeles, currently in pretty urban San Diego. And then whatever amounts to urban for uh, Santa Cruz. <laughs> yeah, cheapest town, best internet. That's, uh, that's the dream. Move to Texas. Nah. Probably not gonna move to Texas. I wanna move somewhere colder <laughs> than Southern California. Not Texas. That rules out Texas immediately. In Kang. <clears throat> yeah, the LA area has has pretty good internet stuff. San Diego is pretty shit for internet. <laughs> I don't know why it's so bad here. Because if you just go a little bit north of San Diego, you can get decent internet. But Good. around here, it's just fucking terrible. Try exerting force with your arms and legs next. Try it now. Even though we're like the what the second or third biggest city in the in the state. You've got it. Uh, Shenmue Perfect is going on. Yes. That's the timing. Looks like you've got it. <laughs> yeah, NYC is nice, but... Why did you teach me the move? The primary reason why you I'm not talk. going to stick it's around in California is problem. price of living is ridiculous here. Me? It's even more ridiculous in New you York City. You fall into an evil path. Martial arts are used to keep people alive. Don't forget that. Now go on. Yep, all that internet money went towards paying off the chargers to stay here, I guess. Money well spent. Uh, my up and down. Down is 25 megabits down and 5 up, I think. I think that's what it is. Or something close to that. All right, game did not crash. We in there? Yeah, I I would love to have gigabit service. That would be excellent. But I even have um, I have fiber installed in the building I'm currently in, but it's not available. Yeah, I know Portland doesn't have very good ISPs, but uh, it's a it's equivalent to what's around here. So, from what I've looked into, it's at least no worse than here. My favorite StarCraft 2 player is Parting. He's my favorite, like, overall, because that dude has all the swag. <laughs> I don't care that he's kind of an asshole, he's just fun to watch. Uh, 
He's favorite Protoss. Favorite Zerg is Dongre Gu, DRG. And um, favorite Terran is... It's probably a mix-up between Bomber and Maru. I generally like watching Terran, so... Young sh we're go Watch last. Harding didn't play in um, GSL last night. GSL was Rain, SOS, um, and then two Terrans. Like, Babyong and, uh, someone else. Someone else. Oh, uh, Innovation. Innovation. Innovation did not do very well yesterday. But yeah, Rain, Rain is also fun to watch, but I generally don't like watching Protoss. Unless it's parting. That's like my one exception. Yeah, it's uh, Inland Empire is where they got Fios. Like, um, Temecula. Temecula and up. Uh, I don't, I don't actually play StarCraft. Because <laughs> I am so bad at it. I just love watching it. The most StarCraft I've ever played was seeing what all the units do firsthand, and then that's when I just stopped playing. <laughs> I just wanted to see what these, what they were doing with these units, and that was the extent of the StarCraft two I played. But I think the five ladder games that I played, I wasn't even placed in a, a league, and I played Protoss, and I think I won one out of five in the um, the placement matches or whatever it was. Favorite players to watch are Parting, Bomber Maru, and uh, Dongre Gu. Yeah, I remember watching uh, Innovation when he's playing in Europe and he's doing real good. But he's not doing so great, at least yesterday. <laughs> Oh, there's always going to be balance balance problems, um, but I guess sure. I have no real experience with Brood War, so I can't really can't really comment on balance related to Brood War. Yeah, life seems to have be a little inconsistent this season, which is a little Next. strange. Thousand white quarter. Good. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Gotta be good at the game now. Well, I know, that, that's why I said. I, I figured that whenever people talk about Brood War, they say it's super balanced, and that StarCraft 2 isn't balanced. So I don't know how well StarCraft 2 stacks up, the current StarCraft 2 stacks up against how Brood War was. That's why I mentioned Brood War. Though I actually I have actually no idea, so. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, I gotta pay attention to the game now. An hour and fifteen minutes in, I have to finally pay attention to the video game. It's like I mentioned before, if I hear that second footstep, then I know it didn't work. Okay. Shit. Oh my god, I almost walked into the load zone. Okay. Alright. Fuck. 
Fuck. This again. This again. This again. Why? Why, 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 why? Oh my god. Why? Game, please. I just want to map glitch past these stairs. <laughs> why? Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus Christ. That's supposed to be one of the easier ones in the game. Alright, so I lost time there. Time's gonna start ticking down soon. But we're still gonna be ahead. Yeah, it's... That one is, like, the hardest one, or close to it, because you have very small margin for error there. So if you try and um, do it once forward, and then try again immediately without turning around, you'll instead get stuck inside the stairs. And you'll just kind of be stuck in there, and if you try and move out of that, you'll trigger the load zone. So the only way to um, reset that is to um, turn around and then try again. So that makes it like doubly awful if it, uh, if it doesn't go well. We're still ahead, though, but it sucks to lose time to that. <sighs> Alright. Hey, Minami. Alright, one more difficult clip from here. Let's hurry. One more. Actually, two more. I'll say it's two more. We got another one of those short staircase clips to do. Uh, Alright, two more hard tricks left in the game. Come on. Come on. Did I get it? I got it. Shit, I got it. Alright. Alright. We have one more hard trick to do. <sighs> Found it. We can go upstairs. Let's move. Alright. One more hard trick, it's a skip right here, and then the rest of it is relatively easy. Good. Let's go upstairs. Let's go. Alright, right here. This skip right here. Okay, didn't get it first try. Okay, second try, I'll take that. Second try, I will take. Alright. Gotta nail the rest of these.
Okay, we did it. As long as the game doesn't crash, and I don't completely fuck this up, then this is the new world record for Shenmue 2. <sighs> uh, playing this normally, um, you're climbing different sets of staircases. Uh, you start on floor 1, um, climb up to floor 18. Uh, there's a whole bunch of like boss fights and all this stuff along the way. Um, you take an elevator down to basement 2, do a boss fight in there. And then take an elevator all the way up to um, uh, uh, floor 40. But we're instead going to walk up to floor 40. Yeah, as long as I don't fuck this up. Famous last words. Yeah, I got uh, I got the um, the tiger design, and then I also got some more Yeti shirts. So what what's predicted time? One fifty seven thirty six. Yeah. I really like to get a 156 at some point, but what can you do? And what's the time? Alright, a gold no less. 157.09, oh man, if I get a good Don't You fight here, then um, uh, I could get a 156 something. Oh nice, you beat Don't You. Oh yeah, you got your Xbox today. Where are you going? You gotta stay warm. I know. Yeah, this is SGDQ strats. All right, so this is down X or something. This is the one I can't remember. This is like down, I think. Okay. Oh, you should always have your cock out during my stream. Hey! Show some courage! Well, I rarely I rarely get to this point though. No, so the the 200 runs doesn't really help if you don't ever get to this point. into a wall there. Schmier. Damn. What should I do? Concentrate on yourself and staying calm. That is the state of the serene mind. Like a polished mirror. Uh, uh. Concentrate only on your mind. This will finish you off. Uh.
All right, game. Don't crash. Please. Don't crash. That's all I ask. Don't crash. All right, here we go. And didn't crash. We in there. <sighs> I think I lost time on Don't You, though. We'll see here, though. Oh my god, 157.01. Are you for real? I need to make up two seconds here. To get a 156. Fuck. Alright, I guess I gotta be completely on the ball for this. Well, I'm going for that 156. So, sorry if I missed anything in chat, but... I want that 156. <laughs> Balls, balls, balls of steel. Alright, so the, the big thing here will be what is the final Shenfa stream or scream going to do to me? Because the last time I got here I got random weird invisible walls that I'd never gotten before. So I have a feeling that that screen might be the difference between 156 or not. Oh, that's right, yeah, Swag Melon. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully the Swag Melon won't be the difference between 156 or not. It might be, though. That, uh, uh. Yeah, getting hit in the face with the watermelon uh, in the middle, or like 40 minutes into the run. It's actually slightly faster to not get hit by the watermelon. By less than a second. But that might actually be the margin between 156 and 157. Yeah, chow strats are faster, but I don't think I'm going to even bother grinding out chow runs for this. Because even without Chow Strats, um, Chow Strats total save 45 to 50 seconds um, throughout the whole run. And my sum of best is 154. So even without Chow, I could get a low 156. Yeah, I just, I get hit by the wild watermelon because hmm. swag. Where did I... You're not... No. Japan. It's an... In the... Japan. Is it... Well... A... What's wrong? Um, Shun. what is, what kind, it's a, is it, yeah, really, have you, yeah, your family, yes, I see, Shen, yeah, let's hurt, yeah, uh, yeah, during all, fragrant, yes, in, and there, so, really, a lot of, yeah, Let's okay. Shen. Yeah. Yes. Let's hurry. Yes. There be. Don't. Flower. When I I stop. Why are? Why? There aren't. This is. To drink. Yeah. Yeah, I also lost a small bit of time too. Yeah. <laughs> Not talking to sailors. Let's hurry. Yeah. Yeah, that that's probably also the difference between. That's definitely the difference between 156 and not 156. <laughs> Well, hey, at least the run survived. Be careful. Why 
Watch your step. Yeah, it's actually easy to tell what button you need to press here, um, based off of what she does. Like, this is A and then this is X. So a short forward jump is A, and then climbing up over something is X. Um, the QTEs you can only play with, uh, with the D-pad. Which is why it's so horrible on 360, because the 360 D-pad is horrible. Um, but for general movement, 99% of the movement is done on um, analog stick. And then for certain precise things, you kind of have to use D-pad. Because the way that movement works in the game is actually different depending on... Um, uh, whether you use the stick or the d-pad. He does single steps with the d-pad, whereas with the analog stick it's full running steps. And it does actually matter for, um, uh, for some glitches. By the way, the music thing right here is normal for 360. <laughs> Welcome to playing on 360. It's gonna be even worse for the next uh, QT here. Yes, it is fail possible to fail this part. If you miss too many QTEs in a row at the end of it, um, they'll run into a fallen tree and the storm will get worse. And then... Um, some wolves will start howling behind them. So it's implied that they're eaten by wolves for being too bad at doing QTEs. Hey, Spat. Good morning. Well, it's... you don't even see wolves, it's just implied that they're eaten by wolves, I guess. Yeah, quick spat, find a, um... Find a skip for... Going conclusion. Uh, people actually do speedrun COD. It's actually weird, though, because it looks like they use... For the tasses, at least... They use aimbots in the tasses for Call of Duty. Which is incredible. I was actually watching one this morning. And it just looks like they use a straight up multiplayer aimbot uh, in the single player. <laughs> but hey, I guess you can do that in a task, so why not? No, there's no task of Shemu 2 yet. Um, that would be very difficult to do because there isn't any. It's getting... um, Xbox emulators and the Dreamcast emulators aren't really suited for tassing. So, that's not really a thing. Yeah, like PC, Call of Duty. Yeah, go on YouTube and look up, um, like, Modern Warfare 1 TAS.
It's actually kind of boring, to be honest, the the Modern Warfare classes. Because all they do is just snap directly to enemies' heads in the auto-scrollers, and the rest is just hopping through the level. So there's nothing, there's no like huge clips through walls or anything. Or at least not that I saw. I think there are actually sequence breaks and some clips in Modern there Warfare 1, more. specifically. Yep, I had to break out the Daggerfall shirt for this wonderful occasion. Well, I think, I think what they mean when they say task for stuff like that is that they use tools. They didn't go, like, frame advancing or anything. Instead, they had a tool that let them aim at heads automatically. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the aimbot is what was tool-assisted about it. Yeah, but you can actually use programs like Hourglass to uh, to task Windows games and do frame advance and all that and recording. So that is actually a thing. I should go back. All right, so this one is right up B B B B B B. Good. Thank you. Come by the fire to get warm, yo. Yeah. Yeah. His name was Goro. Yo. Hmm. Talk. How do you? I plan. Do you go? We do. Any. How old? Six. Two years. Do you? I used. Is. Yeah. It would have. School. What would? There was. No. I have a. Yeah, if you go to task videos, taskvideos.org, and then in the uh, the tools section, what? I think there's stuff in there it's about, about yeah. Hourglass and how to use it. It's getting, I think or maybe it's on their forum. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't messed around with it, though. Yeah, there's 360 emulators, and <laughs> there have been Xbox emulators for a long time, yeah. but they haven't really the progressed past the whole... Hey, we we oh, loaded the the title better. screen for Halo. All right, we're never gonna update this ever again. <laughs> All the that are yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. talk about Tom. Yeah. Tom is one of the the options. My friend, Tom. You can talk about Nozomi, you can talk about Goro, and you can talk about Tom. I actually talked to Sailors in this run. It was uh, actually a mistake talking to the Sailors. Whoops. The Sailors hang out uh, next to the alley. Yeah. Across from the, uh, the gift store. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Let's hurry. Yeah. So actually thinking about it, there's another thing that I could um, lose time on here. If it takes me, if I fall off of the ledge too many times. Another thing I forgot to mention is that um, the splits I'm comparing against here are for my old PB slash world record. And all I changed in them was changing the final time to what my, my record I got the other day was. So um, the predicted time might actually be incorrect. So, I I don't know if it's incorrect in what way or not, though. So who knows? <laughs> yeah, I stream at 2K. Um, 30 FPS certainly helps. This is left, right, left, by the way. Um, 30 FPS, and then I have um, my OBS settings set to as good as it can be, I guess, for, for the bitrate. So, there's only so much I can do. Alright, so left, right, left. I do not want to fuck this up. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Okay, and then this one's left. But yeah, it, if the if the partner thing ever happens and we get quality options, then I'll actually be cranking up the, the bit rates some more because I'm not entirely happy with what the, the OBS recordings look like. It could be better, especially for high movement games. 
But I'll probably crank it up to 3k. 3k30 or maybe 3k60. Alright, and then this one is um, left, right, A. Left, right, A, left, right, A. Yo, this way. Yep. Well, like Daggerfall, for instance. It gets too dark. Right. When the, the whole screen is updating all the time with the uh, the crap textures that are in um, in Daggerfall, uh, it really, like, you lose a lot of detail in the picture. That could be way better. This one is left, right, A, right, left. And then left, left, left. Right, left, right, right, right. And right. Alright. Let's get this QT. Come on. Last actual difficult QT here. Yo, please be careful. Okay. <sighs> All right. Here, you got across safely. Yeah. Let's go. The village is still further ahead. All right. All right. Left, left, left. Four conversations to skip here. Shen. Yeah. You always. Yeah. Hey. Let's hurry on. Yeah. Shen. Yeah. Let's hurry. Yeah. Hey. Shen. What is. We've come along. I'm fine. Oh. It's ours. Are you. No. Hopefully. The path. Yeah. What I'm going for now is a 156, right. a high 156, yeah. but I'm not sure if it's doable because I'm using yeah. weird splits here. Genpa. Yeah. Let's hurry. Yeah. Alright, so now it's right, left, right, right, right.
All right, last major danger area here. So any extra QTEs that I get on the bridge here will also waste time. I think I got two or three. Comparing against this. Actually, against the 5841, I think I got like three or four. I think I got a few extra ones. All right. Get it, get it, all right, good. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right, excellent. Whoa. This is actually pretty much ideal. As long as I can make it through here without... Whoa. All right, never mind. That would have been ideal, but I had an awkward angle for that last one. I was prepared for that, though. I knew that could happen. Alright, so this one's here. up up A. Jump carefully. We can make it. Oh. Yo, jump! Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. Get lost in the final room. That's probably not gonna happen. The only things I could really do now are um, the invisible walls in front of Shenfa's house and uh, getting pushed into Shen the staircase yeah. by Shenfa. Those are the only two, not run killers, but Shen things I could lose yeah. time. Let's hurry on. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to get stuck on her Check. psychic barriers. Yeah. Her yeah. I'm not even gonna cross over to the other side. I'm gonna do what I have done um, before. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay on the left side. Wait till yeah. she gets to the uh, the where the road turns, and then head up the left side. And hopefully, it won't end in tears. I see. Shen is by. Ninety cent. Really? Spat, please. It's Spat, right please. You say I want. Um. I guess at some angles you could uh, miss it because yeah. it'll be hidden behind like a rock. But ninety seconds. Spat, please. All right. So right here, we can roll on up here. Here you go this way. Nope, turn around. Alright. What's the matter, Shenfa? When I was a child, I used to play on that swing. Every year when the Shenmue's flowers bloom. Is this house located in Bailu Village? <laughs> it ain't over yet, Shasta. Yes. We're, at the We're going for a 156. Really? And look at the predicted time in the, the bottom right. Shenfa. What's wrong, Yo? Uh, I smell something good. I'm preparing a big feast, so can you wait a while?
Alright. Door boss, please. Door boss, please. Okay. Shinfa. Yo, good morning. Good morning. I'm preparing lunch right now. Can you wait a while? It's all right. All right. I'm going to do lag reduction strats here by looking looking up <laughs> just to I need every frame I can get out of this so we're doing lag reduction strats I want that 156 so bad Yeah, looking up generally is better than looking down. <sighs> I would be glad if this is a 15603. I think what you mean is 15703 Kipo. Alright, here we go. So in about 30 seconds here, we'll know if this is the urn or not. Along the left side of Shenfa, nope. Alright, that still works. Okay. I can kind of tell what the time is. This is... Alright, place your bets. What's the final time gonna be? The same design as the one on the sword. A 56? Yo. A 57? That's it. What's it gonna be? 57... O... 57XX? 56XX? What's it gonna be? That bull is gonna get me first, though. Oh, now it's gone. What is that? Let's go. Yes. Well, guys. This is a new world record for Shenmue 2. Also, never seen a 57 and never will. What? Ah, 
god. Yo. Yeah. One fifty six fifty one. Ah, awesome. And the gold split. That's how well that that went. Excellent. Dragasm. Dragasm, dragasm, dragasm. <laughs> Thank you guys. So some of best 15409, that's probably not accurate, but it's somewhere around there. That insta period. Bit. Th this is. I will not open a bottle of Shasta. The same as the mirrors. I've already got. It. This is practically Shasta. This will have to work. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall braid together the rocky path. Actually, it is possible to look up the whole, the whole game to save frames. Um, you have to run forward with the trigger, and I think hold down the B button, and then use one of the sticks to look up. But I think you actually can do that. I know you can do it in um, Shenmue 1, but not in 2. Maybe on Dreamcast you can. I don't know, actually. Hold on. You would have to go into options and then change the movement from um, stick to pad. And then you could actually look up the whole game for um, frame rate manipulation. <laughs> 